asteroid danger, Earth is within the firing line, physicist warns, concerning rogue asteroids that are hard to spot. Sebastian Ketley, Express UK. Hazardous asteroids barreling directly towards our Earth. An incredibly hard to detect threat, an astrophysicist has shockingly claimed. Well, we can't catch everything. Let's remember the Chelyabinsk that came over at Siberia a couple of years ago. That was totally unexpected. When an asteroid exploded over Russia's Chelyabinsk Oblast February 2013, with 30 times the force of the Hiroshima nuclear bomb, more than 7,000 buildings were damaged. The asteroids are blast blew out windows, the air blast blew out the windows in the uh, wide radius, injuring more than a thousand people, with ratios sharp shards of glass, of course. U.S. Space Agency NASA dubbed the asteroid impact a wake-up call to the cosmic dangers lurking in the depths of space. Then a similar incident occurred on December 18 last year when NASA satellite traced a monstrous asteroid explosion over the Bering Sea. That was just a couple of months ago, off the coast of Alaska, between Alaska and Russia. So, thank goodness, the blast avoided any residential areas, but John D. Horner, the professor of astrophysics at the University of Southern Queensland, Australia, said it's proof that the constant barrage of space rocks striking Earth. In an article for the conversation, Dr. Horner said Earth is often in the firing line of these fragments of asteroids and comets, most of which burn up tens of kilometers above our heads. But sometimes they don't burn up. They don't burn up and the larger pieces do get through. That's what happened off Russia's east coast December 18 last year. A giant explosion occurred above the Bering Sea between Russia and Alaska when an asteroid some 10 meters across detonated with an explosive energy 10 times greater than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima, he explained. But why did we not see the asteroid creep up on Earth until the very last minute? And how often do these things, do these strikes occur? Now, according to this asteroid expert, the solar system is absolutely littered with rocky material left over from former forming days of the planets and also because of the asteroid impact that hit 66 million years ago this year that was so devastating that the water and ice from the earth reached up to the moon before it fell back on earth again you can imagine a lot of these rocks from the earth are coming back at us even today now most of these asteroids are locked in an orbit of the sun in the asteroid belt between mars and jupiter and the Kuiper Belt on the outskirts of our solar system. He says, for the most part, these space rocks are far from Earth, but the asteroid belt leaks material into the inner circles of our solar system. And when it happens, the cosmic debris often crosses paths with the Earth, occasionally striking our planet at full speed. These asteroids range in size from grains of sand to 10,000 ton rocks, like the one over Russia, in 2013, Chelyabinsk. And once in a while, an asteroid big enough to wipe out most life on Earth appears, just like the one that killed the dinosaur 65 million years ago. And Dr. Horner explains, before we can quantify the threat an, out an object possesses, we first need to know that the object is there. But finding asteroids is not easy. Surveys scour the skies, looking for faint star-like points moving against the background stars, the bigger asteroids will reflect more sunlight, and that means that uh, they'll appear brighter in the sky at a given distance from Earth. And as a result, the smaller the object, the closer it must be to Earth before we can spot it. Objects the size of the infamous Chelyabinsk meteor, which was about 66 feet across, can only be spotted when they pass really close to our Earth. Dr. Horner said this means asteroid impacts on the scale on this scale are really the norm rather than the exception. He said the Chelyabinsk impact is a great example. Moving on its orbit around the sun, it approaches us in the daylight sky, totally hidden because of the sun's glare. For larger objects, which impact much less frequently but would do far more damage, 
it's a fair it's fair to expect that we would receive some warning according to nasa there are currently no known large objects on direct collision paths with the earth well okay that's from what they know but there are other uh, item uh, objects that they don't know of now nasa's jet propulsion laboratory jpl said no human in the past 1000 years is known to have been killed by a meteorite or by the effects of one impacting. An individual's chance of being killed by a meteorite is small, but the risk increases with the size of the impacting comet or asteroid, with the greatest risk associated with global catastrophes resulting from impacts of objects larger than one kilometer. NASA knows of no asteroid or comet currently on a collision course with Earth, so the probability of a major collision is quite small. That's assuming that they know everything, that they've seen everything that's out there, which is not so. In fact, as best as we can tell, they say no large object is likely to strike the Earth any time in the next several hundred years. In a recent article, the uh, university, the, uh, the Science Museum of Virginia, states that they have found Astronomers have found 18,238 new asteroids in the past year. Over 18,000 asteroids spotted from Earth in the last year. In preparation for International Asteroid Day, which is annually on June 30th, the Science Museum of Virginia visualized all over 18,000 asteroids spied from Earth in the past year. So that's quite a lot. Now. 18, 000, over 18,000, and they state that uh, 1,722 are near-Earth asteroids. That's roughly one out of every 10 asteroid discovered. Uh, I'll leave a link below for you to see the various uh, paths of the uh, asteroids that are coming in towards Earth. It's amazing. There is no immediate impact risk, they say, from these asteroids, but each is a reminder to keep looking because they find they found over 18,000 in one year alone. The good thing is that it's not just NASA or the space agencies that are keeping their eyes out watching the skies uh, nightly. It's also amateurs that have uh, the tremendous drive, motivation to do this. And there have been a lot of astronomers, uh, amateur astronomers, that have found near-Earth objects uh, that have even uh, been named after them, uh, amateurs. And NASA is always looking for people, asking for people to help spot these uh, near-Earth objects. And uh, that's a fantastic hobby to have, obviously. Space weather has a part of its report daily that has the... Uh, all Sky Fireball Network. Every night, the network of NASA All Sky cameras scans the skies above the United States for meteoric fireballs. It's an automated software maintained by NASA's Meteoroid Environmental Office. It calculates their orbits, velocity, penetration, depth in, the, in Earth's atmosphere, and many other characteristics. And the daily results are presented on space weather. Uh, today, April 17th, the network reported 11 fireballs, 11 sporadics, uh, towards Earth, that is. And it also has a near Earth, a table of the near-Earth asteroids. April 17, 2019, there were 1,967 potentially hazardous asteroids. And you have the table of them there. I'll leave a link below for, you th for this as well. And you also have the cosmic rays in the atmosphere for those who are traveling by uh, uh, aircraft, of course. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, 
most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.